in this morning's New Zealand Herald headlines. TVNZ staff set to learn their fate as job cut meetings loom. A warning as the government takes a look at our gun laws and where the warnings in place as the West Coast prepares for a wet week. Atamaria, I'm Sherry Kinnear. It's Tuesday, the 9th of April. TVNZ staff will today find out whether they can keep their jobs and whether certain shows will survive proposed cost saving cuts. Our newsroom understands the state owned broadcasters set to hold a series of meetings with staff throughout the day. Last month, they proposed to cut up to 68 roles and four programs, including Sunday and Fair Go. Meanwhile, News Hub is set to be thrown a lifeline with Warner Brothers Discovery preparing to announce a new deal, which could see a news service saved in a pared back form. The media company will meet staff tomorrow to outline the outcome of a five week consultation period following the announcement of its proposed closure at the end of June. Up to 300 jobs are under threat. In some other news now, the father of a Columbine High School massacre victim is warning New Zealand not to go backward when it comes to gun laws. The coalition government's preparing to repeal firearm legislation brought in after the 2019 Christchurch terror attack. It could see the return of the same semi-automatic weapons used by the terrorists in gun ranges. Tom Mauser lost his son Daniel in the April 1999 Columbine High School massacre, telling the Front Page podcast that killers will always find ways to circumvent legislation. And, and if you're going to give them, give them an opening, they're going to take it. And I think we have to do all we can to close those loopholes. Revelations Nicola Willis was warned cancelling the inter-islander mega ferries could harm our relationship with Korea. The contract to build two new ferries was scrapped due to the cost blowing out to $3 billion, despite construction already underway in Korea. Documents released to our newsroom show MFAT stressed to the Finance Minister the importance of maintaining our bilateral relationship. And a wet week across parts of the country is starting in the South Island today, with warnings in place for the West Coast. Motorists are being warned to plan ahead as the severe rain and wind is expected to hit today in the Western South Island, reaching the North Island by the weekend. Met Service has issued a raft of weather alerts, including an orange heavy rain warning for much of Westland for Tuesday to Thursday. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more news worth knowing, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai tera. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.